day and night I toss and turn, I keep stressing in my mind I look for peace but see I don't attain What I need for keeps this silly game we play Play Look at me, where she wanna be Call me Freaky T, off the leash I feel like a dog, I can't have the flea Keep it pee, never need it you But you needed me I got cream, make up pretty clean Push your self-esteem I, I get tight in the moment So I feel like baby king Fuss is back, step on something So I just like baby D Bitch, I'm cool, pussy ass So now you know it's giving cream I got hoes, when it's not enough Come feel the nigga team Push a pound of weed, need a brand new weed Kill my dog, pussy nigga, please I go key on the weeds He don't go, why you tellin' me just let a nigga see Honestly, I'm not feeling you and you not feeling me Keep it G, welcome at the A, just let that nigga be TLC, no I'm finna creep my phone on D&D That's my song, why that did to beat, I'd rather did to sleep You ain't beat, but you know you beat to me, he beat as me I need chicks, I tell that nigga I tell that he like a baby, carry that on my head, head. On my head. I just yeah. think a zip, cause shawty got me shots Got me pleasure all day, yeah. boy, I get that bitch I'm here as a bitch I'm here on yeah. my house, give a fuck up at my face Cause my mic says you can't be touched yet, I know that nigga is huh? I'm no fucking bitch, but that's my project bitch But now you see me something to my bitch, she has switch Now you see me something to my bitch, she gon' switch Hey guys, as you can see, I'm outside. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am King Kinsey. That's my channel alias, but I go by Ray in these streets. So feel free to call me Ray. What you looking at mama? What you looking at mommy? Look at her. Mommy. Hi baby girl. Hi Tizzy Boo. Um, you know, I, I brought a paper towel just for this because it's hot and I have long sleeves on because that was smart. Anyway, back to what I was saying. If you want to become a kingpin, if you want to join this community, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out 
immensely. And yeah, hit your bell if you want to be made aware first of when I drop my videos. And then that way I show up on your feed and I'm just with you all the time. <laughs> anyway, what are y'all doing? Because right now I'm just sweating by choice. Sweating. This is Maddox. I call him Maddie. He's 14. My old little babies. My old babies. Don't you go over there. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead and turn that booty around. Thank you. My sweet baby. She's my eldest, y'all. She's 18. Born in July like her mama. And yes, my cats are my kids. I don't have kids, so these are my kids. <laughs> A dog came. A dog came and she was like, sayonara. Today is to spend the day with your girl. So today we just have a few errands to run. That is pretty much what I have on the itinerary before Bay gets home. And she's not off work till 9 p.m. And I got a, we got a very late start to the day. Your girl didn't even get up till 10 a.m. And <laughs> we fell asleep on the couch, Bay and I. And um, she went to work around 11.30. So I'm pretty sure she'll be off around nine. And between now and then, what is today, girl? Y'all, it is already, it's already 1.30. <laughs> um, today is Friday. Who knew? Who fucking knew? I knew I didn't. Who knew? It might as well have been a Tuesday. It's Friday. You ain't got nothing to do. You ain't got no job. So you know what we finna do? This is what we finna do. <laughs> we gonna light up this spliffy. Cause it's Friday. And I'm ready to sing. Pick up my girls and hit the body sing. Ain't nobody doing shit. Hey neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Maddie boy then went and rolled in the dirt, y'all. Oh no. Mud, 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 mud. <laughs> you, yes, you. You are not coming in the house like that. See, this is why. Now I got something else to do. Now I gotta clean his ass before I bring him in. Anyway, today. Today is unfortunately a boring Friday, but I figured I'd come on camera real time and just give you a little sum sum. So today it's going to be a very boring spend the day with me. I really don't want to leave the house because you know me, but we're just going to, um, I have a few errands to run. Um, I actually have shit. Mm, I actually have. A few errands to run. I need to go to Walmart, unfortunately. <laughs> Walmart and, um, what am I thinking about? Burlington. Burlington and Walmart. That's, that's where we got to go today. My nephew's birthday was yesterday and they're having a little, them as in my brother, um, and his wife, they're having a little get together at, um, a park in Elk Grove. So, um, so we'll be, mm. I'm going to go to that on Sunday so I can see my nephew. He is such a cutie booty and he's four years old. He's four years old. He's a COVID baby. Girl, I was telling my sister-in-law, like, I don't know how COVID and being pregnant and giving birth and a newborn and she already got four. Ain't no way. And she works full time. She's a full time nurse. Girl. Mm -hmm. Ain't no way, ain't no way. <laughs> but I love them and I'll see them on Sunday. So we have to run to Walmart. 
just to get some <laughs> a few products like that's pretty much all i go to walmart for is product so we're gonna get some product and then we're gonna get uh we're gonna go to burlington i'm gonna get them some clothes because they have great like baby and kid clothes um or toddler um so just clothes period burlington is with shit when it comes to clothes like for those who are frugal and don't shop brand name designer which y'all know i don't so it's ross and burlington for me a little bit of tarjay you know amazon fashion nova and that's pretty much it <laughs> i've never ordered what's what's crazy is i mean i've known about shein for so long but i've never ordered from shein ever in life i'm gonna look, go on and look and see what they got i really don't like zara i'm way too much of a casual girl for zara and all that so um but yeah you know costco with the athleisure <laughs> that's me Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to get them some clothes and probably a few toys. And yeah, and then we're going to come home and baby home, take a shower, cook dinner. You'll see all that. But yeah, kingpins, spend the day with me. <laughs> mm. It should be cool. And plus, this is my favorite part of vlogging. Like, when I watch other people, I'm gonna just look at myself now because looking at this little dot, it's just not working for me. Like, I can't calibrate where I am. <laughs> Hi! You wanna come back outside with your dirty ass? You are so dirty, Maddie. Anyway, this is the part I love about vlogging the most. It's just capturing the regular degular shit. Oh, he hot because he breathing out his mouth. <laughs> anyway um capturing the regular degular shit like just watching other people do the same stuff you do every single day like that to me is the part that i love like so when i'm brushing my teeth or stagnant you know like it's usually when i'm doing other stuff like i'll put my earbuds in and i'll watch the vloggers i watch and i just literally you feel like you just have a little partner in crime with you while you're doing your most mundane task throughout the day and i love it which is why i got into this because i feel like i can do this i can for sure do this because i ain't going back to corporate america it's not happening though so but i very much enjoy it because like i said last time y'all are very much my friends in my head so you might as well just come along with your girl and kick it I do not have sunscreen on and I could feel the sun beaming where my crow's feet are and just causing more damage with every passing second. Like, why did I not put my SPF on? And I got the nerd to be 40. Girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Let me not waste the memory I got going on because I've already been talking off for like 20 minutes. We gotta get this day started. Mm. Apparently, I'm gonna have to come down a few more steps because that sun is migrating. Mm. Anyway, y'all, yeah, so I gotta get out of here. Ugh, I just don't feel like being out in public and Y'all already know what it is. Recording in public is just like... You just be looking around like... Because everybody's looking at you like... What are you doing? Like... <sighs> but... This is what you gotta do. Anyway, let's get this shit started. I'll see y'all when I'm in the car. Bye! Your hey, Kingpins! <sighs> hey guys, we made it to Walmart. 
Yay! My favorite place. It's like, ugh, it's looking real busy too. And real hot. Whole bunch of mouth breathing. Thankfully, I don't have too much to get. Like, I just need to get, um, oh my God, it's so bright. I don't want to put these back down. It's so bright. Um, I just need to get a lot of cat stuff, like litter, food, um, treats, all that. They eat like five different foods because let you give them one food for too long, they will look at you crazy like, say what, bitch? You want me to eat this? Five days a week, you got me fucked up, so I have to give them some variety. Otherwise, they protest like a motherfucker. Oh, my gosh. I will sit in here with my AC for a minute before I go in that bitch. Like, that's how much I can't stand coming here. But who does? There's a few other things I'm forgetting, but not too much. I just actually went grocery shopping, grocery shopping at Winco yesterday. So, um, that's all the produce and like food, food. This is really just product and cat stuff. I feel like, I feel like I need to smoke the other half of my slip before, <laughs> before I can like bring myself to go in here with this camera. Like, People be acting so funny, like, and maybe I did before I picked the camera up. Maybe, maybe I did. I really can't recall, but I feel like I don't recall ever looking at people with cameras like they're fucking crazy, but maybe I was one of them too, because now that I'm doing it, like, they be looking cra at me crazy, like, bitch, what are you doing? Who do you think you are? <laughs> What is it to you? <laughs> Why are you hating from afar? The motherfucking star. <laughs> I will be. <laughs> anyway, y'all. I'm trying to like, I like roll my shit up in the napkin just to get like the ash off because I didn't smoke the whole thing earlier. Anyway, y'all. First of all, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. TV shows because outside of, you know, doing my normal like housewife duties, when I be watching my shows, actually Bay and I were watching it last night, Deb's House, I'm only on episode, like it's on Peacock and I'm only on episode, um, <laughs> Bay left all this shit in the car. I hate, okay, y'all may not know this, but you know now, I hate trash in my car i hate anything in my car like this shit might be dusty in the motherfucker but when it comes to shit out of place and just trash and like recyclables and blankets and all the chairs i fucking hate shit in my car and she didn't left this in here for like two weeks now it's like when we went to her family reunion blankets chairs fucking all types of shit in the trunk like i could barely fit the groceries in oh anyway fucking up my viewpoint fucking up my viewpoint babe <laughs> anyway okay so yesterday last night we started watching deb's house i don't know if you guys i don't know if this is caught on or if like everyone's watching it i don't fucking know but i ain't heard nobody talk about it and i'm like why though because it is entertaining as fuck at least the black community like where y'all at or maybe it just hasn't maybe it just hasn't caught wind like fucking whatchamacallit oh my god there's this other show it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. And um, was it on Peacock before? It was on another Tubi. It was on Tubi. I don't know if it's still on Tubi, but I know for a fact it's on YouTube. Um, and it's called Hoochie Daddies. <laughs> and it's a whole bunch of young ass uh, studs. Like studs. Like bae. Like studs and i am i i've seen i think there's been two seasons i'm pretty sure it's only been two seasons we've watched all of it that shit right there is hilarious it's super like low budget like it's hard to get through but it's more of if if you're if you've been in that life especially when bay and i were young like when we were in our early early 20s and like you know we've been together since she was 18 so like being a young stud and girls this and you hella extra and just <laughs> when you guys see it if you watch it hoochie daddies and they got the nerve to call them hoochie daddies nigga they're studs okay they're 
studs. Get that hoochie daddy shit out of here. I cannot with this new generation. It's so, it's, I'm going to say it's so good. No, it's trash, but it is so good. And they know it. So anyway, off on a tangent, just totally fuck. Um, what was that? What show was I actually talking to y'all about? Like, fuck. Um, Deb's house. So it's on Peacock. Y'all, I'm telling you, this shit is hilarious so basically it's like it's like making the band essentially it's one big house and um a whole bunch of females and they're all rappers and they're all competing i don't know if they're trying to put a group together or she's just looking for a solo artist i don't know but deb's like giving her like industry perspective and you know just trying to find the best and it's like super hardcore like i just absolutely love it the girls are fucking crazy it's kind of like Bad Girls Club. Remember Bad Girls Club on auction back in the Dizzy? I don't even know if that shit still goes on. Oh, Bad Girls Club. I used to watch that religiously in my youth. In my youth. You, you girl's 40 now. <laughs> but I'm but I'm here watching Deb's House and Hoochie Daddies. <laughs> um, I ain't never gonna grow up. Anyway. So, I need a lighter because, yeah... This angle, though? I don't know about this angle. Disrespectful. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, it's a bunch of bitches in a house. And, of course, they beef, you know, on and off. And But the challenges that they're going through are actually, like, legit. Like, it actually gives thought and, like wait to what Deb does in terms of creating celebrities and you know producing or whatever she be doing managing like she's been around in the industry she's been around for such a long time so she has a lot of you know knowledge she is a wealth of knowledge and I like how like I thought it was going to be super ghetto I thought it was going to be like girl or just cr but they actually put some fucking thought in this shit and it's really good like I like it but um i don't know who my favorite character is yet i'm kind of a fan i'm kind of a fan of rocky but she's a hothead and um i mean they're all hotheads they're all female rappers so but th most importantly one of the challenges i can't see i don't want to like okay spoiler alert because one of the challenges had me weak like snot nose laughing but then also felt kind of bad for him because you know black women our relationship with our hair black mixed whatever our relationship with our hair is incredibly sacred like incredibly sacred <laughs> shout out b beyonce for her her new hairline but um she makes them bare like she makes them strip down bare and it's like basically you have to market yourself you have to know how to market yourself you strip yourself down bare i want to see you i want to see what you have to give outside of all this makeup and eyelashes and weaves and fucking wigs and all of it like take all that sh they made them take all that shit out and i know the girls with braids one of the little light skinned bitches had braids and she was like <laughs> two there was a dark skinned chick and a light skinned chick and they both had braids and you they they weren't going to take the time i mean it takes forever to take braids out so um they weren't going to do that but all them sewn in fucking weaves and fucking wigs they make them take all that shit out all that shit out and, um, but the two girls with braids, they didn't have to do shit. I know they were like, yeah, <laughs> but I felt that to be like incredibly disrespectful, but then also like insightful, inspiring. And like, I, it was just all the things, but I don't even know if people are watching this. Like I have heard nothing on the socials about Deb's house. I'm sure they're watching in Atlanta, but, um, cause I think that's where she is. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Isn't that where Walk is? Atlanta? But, um, girl, that shit, hilarious. I'm hooked. So I'm watching, what are y'all watching right now? Comment down below. Let me know because I always need, oh God, now a cop want to come. Oh, that's not a cop. I was about to say, get out of here. I'm trying to smoke. Anyway, so, um, 
yeah what are you guys watching because i need suggestions it could be movies it could be shows reality or otherwise like i'm always looking for something new to watch because i'll be running through my shit um i already watched love island i already watched um like perfect match and you know what's it called blind dating blind whatever i don't know what the f i've already watched all those all those i don't know i can't even recall i have watched so much stuff i just need something new so yeah comment down below and let me know because i need some freshness and while you're at it check out deb's house because whoa whoa that shit is entertaining and they can rap like for real i mean they they're not always like on their shit you know, depending on when she, like, makes them, you know, off top, go into their freestyle and all that shit. They may not always be ready, but for the most part, they're really good rappers. Like, I wonder who she's going to choose or if she's going to put, like, a, I don't know what she's doing. Fuck, I don't want to go in here. Y'all, I don't want to go. Anyway. Oh, today's Friday tomorrow's saturday and a bitch still ain't got no plans like i'm so lonely now that my best friend is gone like now she left last year like it's been like a year and a half anyway ever since my bestie left i just feel so lonely like i tell her this all the time like you left me destitute <laughs> she bought a house i'm happy for her that's all great i just feel so lonely because y'all know my circle is tight like it's like tight <laughs> and it's getting tighter every passing year um so i just feel like i need some friends i don't know i kind of want to go out tomorrow and do a little something something like even if i just go to like if me and baby just go to the bar we can go to a billiards we can go to like whatever there's like little places around here little lounges that are actually local like you don't have to go to downtown sack um i just want to get the house knock back a few drinks maybe some shots ain't nobody doing shots i'm past that <laughs> past the era of shots like jeez just have a few cocktails and do a little dancey dance and then go home you can do a little something else but um I just want to have a good night tomorrow and she's off yay so i don't know what we're gonna do or we can go hiking because y'all know that never happened for my birthday so hiking would be nice we'll see y'all i'm so proud of myself for picking up the camera i'm so proud of myself i dropped my last vlog that y'all hadn't seen me for like two months i went on this fucking hiatus because when shit goes wrong i go in my head and um, I dropped the uh, Living in Sacramento vlog like three days ago, I think now. And I told myself, bitch, pick up the camera. Pick up the camera. Do not wait till next week. Pick up the camera. And I did. I'm very proud of myself. Even though I'm at Walmart. <laughs> this is not a part of my life that I want to film. But I'm going to give y'all the real. I'm going to give you the real, the real, regular, regular, every single day boring content but and what can I say my life is boring until it isn't <laughs> um anyway let me get my button here cause you know I will ramble I will fucking sit here and chit chat forever AC running and everything so let me get in here after I take a few more puffs get this shit and then we're gonna go to burlington and get my nephew some tanks for sunday see you in a minute bye so much go it's easy to love me now would you love me if i was down and out would you still have love for me, girl? Oh, now, oh, now. Would you love me?
me if I was down and out Would you still have love for me, girl? Everybody's staring appropriately. <sighs> the anxiety. We don't get through it. We don't push through, bitch. Push through. It's so much better when Bay is here because I think I've said this before. When Bay is with me, I just feel like I have a, like a layer of armor because <laughs> she's my protector. And you just seem less crazy when there's a party of two, right? <laughs> there's somebody there to co-sign your crazy. All right, we don't have much more to get, so we are making great time. Ooh. First of all, I don't remember this. I don't remember the camera being so shaky. Like I'm literally holding it because. This little contraction I have actually is quite legit in terms of holding this camera still, but not today. I need some smell good for the car. Yeah. See, I, uh, I love coming back to automotive because nobody's here. <laughs> You have cats. I do, baby. Three of them. You have cats? Yes. It's me. Naomi, Maddox, and Winston. Oh, my, my, my cat's name is Lulu. Lulu, that's so pretty. You're so pretty, baby. Hi, honey. <laughs> I think I started something. I got what I wanted. Did, did, and I can't feel nothing. Superhuman, even when I'm fucking for Agra, popping every single record. Auto tuning, zero emotion, muted emotion. Pitch corrected, computed, emotion. Uh -huh. I play with on a mono bra with a Hollywood smile. Ow. Stripper booty in a rack like wow. Brain like Berkeley, better at Coachella. I went to see Jigga, she went to see C Trip. Perfect. I took a seat on the ice cold lawn. She handed me a ice blue bong, whatever. She said she wanna be a dentist, really bad. She's in school paying for tuition, doing porn in the fast. At least you're working, but girl, I can't feel my face. What are we smoking anyway? She said, don't let the high go to waste. But can you taste? Little taste? No, but can baby, baby, no, but can baby. Fuck me good, fuck me long, fuck me numb Love me now when I'm gone, love me none Love me none, love me none Numb, numb, numb Sink full of dishes, pacing in the kitchen Cocaine for breakfast, yikes Bed full of women, flip on a tripod Little red light on, shooting, I'm feeling like Stanley Kubrick, I blame it on a model bra with the Hollywood smile. Strip a booty with a rack like wow. I'll never forget ya. You put me on a feeling I never had, never had, never had. And ever since I've been trying to get it back, you pick it up and put it back. Now I'm something like the chemist on campus. But there's no drug around But like what I found in you, you I still can't feel my face What am I smoking anyway? She said don't let the high go to waste But can you taste, little taste No, but can, baby, baby 
Novocaine, baby, I want you Fuck me good, fuck me long, fuck me now Love me now when I'm gone, love me now Love me now, love me now Nom, 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 nom Novocaine, 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 Novocaine Oh, numb the pain, 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 numb the pain. Novocaine, 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 Novocaine. Oh, for the pain, for the pain. Ooh, Novocaine, Novocaine. Oh. Time to look at some toys. I love it when it's empty in here, y'all. No ruckus. I think I like this. He likes things that roll on the hardwood floors. He has hella cars, so I feel like this would do. Oh wait, this is cute. Oh, he's turning four. That's three plus. Like I like to be a little bit more like I'm already advanced. It's cute. It's cheap. Look at that. Motherfucking Burlington. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Alright. Time to go. I mean, if nothing else, I have to stop. But I'm actually stocked on perfume, so. Don't forget, okay? Probably not right now. All bottom floor, okay? But I just gotta see what the inventory looking like, though. Love this bag, but. <sighs> Let me see. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like this one. Just for you. Oh, and it matches the tissue paper. Yeah. Y'all, I thought this thing got caught on something, but it's a three pack for $3.99. Like, yeah, and it matches the tissue paper. <laughs> for sure. Seven? Three. Oh, it's gonna ask on there if you'd like to make a donation to adopt a classroom. And then we can see the gift receipt. Thank you. Yeah. Will the gift receipt be for basically all the clothing? Yes. Gotcha. Well, clothing and toys. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. That's good. Only at Burlington. And a hundred dollars. And we're off. <laughs> Yo, first of all, I don't know why I didn't go to the bathroom while I was in there because your girl got to pee real bad. Real, real bad. And I'm starving. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. <laughs> anyway, no copyright. We are done, diggity done. I am hungry, I need something right, right now, right, right now. I can't even get all this shit up because there's very much, very much so more shit. Um, I can't get all this shit up without eating something. Like I am hungry and I'm not waiting to like get all this up and then eat, like even though that sounds ideal. I just would rather eat right now because I'm that hungry and I really don't want to. <laughs> Carl's Jr. doesn't have the Beyond anymore, and I just can't do beef, like, period. Mmm. 
sweating still. I'm hungry. I'm gonna just go to Del Taco. Oh, this is gonna be disappointing. Fast food. Oh, health and wellness. What? Cause this ain't it. Oh, I don't want it. But I'm hungry. This is why. This is why I don't like to be outside and starving. Sorry about that. How can I help you? It's okay. Sorry, I need a moment. Oh, okay. Just let me know if you have questions. Okay, thanks. What about finicky hair? Um, can I get the number three? What to drink? Um, Coke Zero, please. And just regular, or do you want that large? Regular's fine. Okay. And then can I get two? Um, grilled chicken tacos with, um, can I get guacamole on the side? You said two grilled chicken tacos by themselves. So how many other grilled chicken tacos did you just say? Two. Two? Okay. And then, uh, guac on the side. Alrighty. That's going to be 2021. Thank you. I feel like I ordered <laughs> Oh, I got like, y'all heard it. I feel like I ordered so fucking much. Like I have not had Del Taco in years. I'm pretty sure the last time I had this, my sister-in-law was here and it was like 2021. I don't know. It's been a minute. We gonna see how this go. Like I'm gonna have this shits tomorrow. Oh, I need to get out of here. I need to get out. Yeah, because I need to make a laugh, so. Oh, I'm so happy nobody was here. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need... Girl! Get it together. Like, you finna have it all messy in my bag? Oh, oh, I thought it was a green light. I was about to go. I think it hit by a car. <gasps> okay. The top is secured. Uh. Mm. What Juicy say? He be like, shut the fuck up! Leak on my clip. Make this pussy cream. Do this motherfucker. Oh, 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 oh. We're back. We're back in full effect. I'm home, finally. And happy to be home. Oh, I forgot there's a gang of cheese on this shit. Mm. Mm. Oh. I want to care so bad, but I just don't. Mm. I was just I was just telling babe. Oh my god, I have like 15% battery. Mmm. Woo! Y'all was so hungry. Mmm. I'm just gonna eat the chicken tacos really quick and then get the stuff upstairs. Mmm. This is some real, some real mediocre shit here. But it's funny how the nasty shit be hitting us. <laughs> You're starving. Mm. I'm really good at fasting, but I do it too long. Like I forget to eat. Um, which is a huge, a huge reason why I store a lot of fat cells. So that, along with reining in this diet again, because it has gotten out of control, which is why I turned around and gained thirty pounds. But a home back in on this ship.
be consistent in the gym so we can just get back to it get back on my zoom very much zoom <laughs> all the girls kill me when they say that and back on my zoom very appropriate because i need to be zooming zooming at fucking light speed uh, let me stuff my face with this just one more quick little taco girl because when i move when i move i'm setting this up for the future which is me admitting to myself that I'm just going to eat like trash and not feel bad about it until we move <laughs> next year. Oh, oh fuck. If I can do it sooner than that, then great. But I'm giving myself until next year. Because I'm treating this move like a rebirth. <laughs> it's literally been like almost 12 years since we've moved or lived anywhere else in here. So this this move is a rebirth and mm, i'm gonna go back to i don't think i'll ever truly be vegan again because i'm not willing to give up eggs tuna and honey i'm not willing to give up those three things so i can never say that i'm vegan again but everything else is going to be vegan it's going to be like a 90 10 split when we move next year because I very much have to carry the household. If I don't want that shit coming to my house, I pretty much have to prepare the household to be fed and cook for everybody and do everything because they ain't gonna do it. So I lead the way. Um, so yeah, that and I don't know if, I don't know if tonight's gym session is gonna happen because I went this morning and I was saying, this is what I do. I'm like, I'm going to go hard. I'm going to do two a days. <laughs> I don't know who I was lying to this morning, but I did have a great work workout this morning and it's the first one I've had in like a week. So I was a little rusty. He all saw that, but, um, I don't know if I'm going to make it there tonight because I can feel the soreness setting in. And I also went grocery shopping yesterday and I just, went shopping at Walmart for like I've just I've been on my feet and I just felt like I don't want to sit down and now I'm eating like I feel like I'm gonna get in the house and just pass the fuck out and wait for Bay to get home in like two hours like two and a half hours it's going on seven it's almost 7 p.m so I feel like I should just chill and just be fulfilled you know with one a day if that is at least making the cut because I was even struggling with that. We'll see if I'm up for it. If I feel like I have enough energy, I'll go, but I don't know if I'll record it because y'all saw that this morning and I'm like sticking to the same routine because I don't switch up what I'm doing. Like I alternate what I'm doing in the sense of lower body, upper body on any given day. But the routine I do for each stays exactly the same until it's no longer challenging me. I will not change up. So y'all gonna be seeing me do this same routine in the gym for like months. I'll try to split it up and like create like different shorts or whatever for like a quick upper body routine, a quick upper body um, workout, a quick lower body workout and just show you guys what I do. You know, and just make some shorts and reels and stuff. But the routine will be the same. Period. Anyway, let me get this shit upstairs. Let me get my other taco. Bullshit. And uh, my camera's probably gonna cut out at any moment because I probably only have like less than 15% now. I'm rambling. I will. I'll probably see you on later tonight when Bay gets home. I don't know what we're gonna eat for dinner. It's going on seven. I'm over here eating this. I'm probably eating shit, but whatever I make her, I'll see y'all later. Sixteen carriages driving away while I watch them ride with my dreams away to the summer sunset on a holy night on a long black road all the tears I fight. Sixteen carriages driving away while I watch them ride with my dreams away to
through the summer sunset on a holy night on a lone black road all the tears I fight Fifteen innocents was gone astray Had to leave my home at an early age I saw mama praying, I saw daddy grind All the tender problems had to leave behind It's been umpteen summers and I'm out of my bed On the back of the bus and a bunk with the band Going so hard, gotta choose myself Underpaid and overwhelmed I might cut clean but still won't go Still working all my life, you know shit up here now I just need to put it all away because oh uh, oh I don't think I told you guys I got new cushions aren't they pretty nice and chunky so I got all this potting mix because my mom and I are gonna replant this bad boy this beautiful huge succulent um, into a bigger pot um, this pot just, you can't even see, it's hard to see because of the lighting. Let me go over here. This pot, can you see it? Not really, but it's just not big enough. Um, as you can see, she's starting to wilt a little bit. So we need to liven her up and get her in some fresh soil and a new pot, um, which is where this comes in. Actually, this pot is going to house the fern that is on the porch and then we're going to use the vase on the porch for her and let me show you the farm this is the um fern or fern ficus <laughs> this is the ficus and we're gonna put the succulent in this um pot or you know what actually we're gonna break it up we're gonna break up the succulent and use the pot it's in and this pot and break the succulent up in half so we have two pots of the succulent we're gonna take the long 24 inch face that i got at walmart and we're gonna put the ficus in it so yeah that's gonna look so good yeah i like that Anyway. 
Bay's home. Hi, Bookie. <laughs> As y'all can see, she did not cook. She ordered gym boys. Just wasn't in the mood. But anyway, we're about to wrap the night up and we're about to get back into this and then go to sleep. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.